woke up this morning, looked round for my shoes. No, I must have had him the mean old walking blues. Hey, I woke up this morning, baby. I looked Bay. around for my Today shoes. Today we have a special guest. That's right, you can see him right here. And that man sitting to my right, Eric Easy Street Williams. Frank, it's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. Eric, it's, it's a pleasure to have you in our studios. And uh, as everyone uh, already knows, and you know, I, I should just, for those of you who are kind of new to the program and uh, are not familiar with Easy Street, uh, he's the uh, bass player for the Zola Moon Band, for the South, uh, the South Bay's uh, Steady has been here 20 solid years, uh, just contributing great blues to this community. And uh, we're here to talk about the ending of that, uh, uh, of that uh, historic uh, run that she had for 20 years as one of the South Bay's top blues female artists, named appropriately. So Eric, uh, he's going to share with us uh, just a few uh, uh, from a perspective uh, as, as a race player. And, uh, Eric, thanks. Thanks for sharing with us today. So, Eric, I think for our, our friends here, uh, take us through that time. When did, how did you and, and Zola first make that connection? And she said, playing, you're my bass player. I was playing a uh, blues jam at the tea house uh, with Lenny G, Danny Timms, Vince Joy and a couple other people. Sunday Blues Jam. People were coming down every Sunday. The owner of the tea house, a Chinese restaurant, it was Mr. Aaron Song. He was a Aaron blues Song, artist. by the way, Aaron Song uh, was one of the contestants on the uh, short lived TV food show, Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Eric Song. Anyway. He, uh, he was a uh, chef, he was a restaurant owner, and he was a blues lover. And Love the blues. He played hard, and uh, he, he enjoyed his Sunday blues jam. And we were known as the Chinese Blues All-Stars. Chinese Blues All-Stars. And every that's now a, and then... That's a wonderful name, wonderful story, and... and uh, Aaron Song had sit in with a band and he promoted that every Sunday, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, and he had free food. Brought out a lot of the South Bay players and the one player that it brought out and uh, you and Zola met for the first time was at that tea Zola house. Zola came at the down tea house. and sat in with the band sat in. and uh, she hired Vince right away. The guitar the player. Yeah. She hired yeah. him right away. And then she hired me shortly thereafter. And this was literally the Zola went in there and picked out her band. Right. That's that's how I'm hearing it. The Chinese blues. Ten All -Star. years later, ten years from that day forward, Eric held that bass yes. down. We played, uh, you know, lots of gigs. We had a great time. And, uh, we played last night. Uh, sure line goes there. Last uh, night week. that was uh, July second. second. At Shoreline Village, Long Beach, California. There, we did an outdoor three-hour show. And yeah, we had a great time, and uh, we'll have one last gig with her, and that is the last Saturday of the month, July 30th. Mm -hmm. wow. At Susie's there in Hermosa Beach. In, in Zola's own words, I mean, if you could uh, take that liberty, she thought of you as the person who holds the beat then. That's the bass player. The bass player's the bass player job. To, yeah. You know, set the tone. Set the, he, 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 it's all up to the bass player. That's why I love the instrument. Yeah. That's why you love the who? Uh, it's all up to the bass player. I love the instrument. The instrument. Oh. And, uh, yeah. I play what I play. I. Now, you didn't start out as a bass player. Like most bass players. Well, some do. Some, some do start out as bass, but I started out as on the flute. On the flute. Yeah. And uh, then when um, the folk era came out, you know, right. uh, everybody was into the Kingston Trio and Peter Paul and Mary right. and right. Brothers Four and everybody else of that era 
Yeah. So naturally, we were all playing guitars. Yes. But I got a little bit sidetracked uh, when. Give me some of the early the names of some of your bands. I love those there early names of bands. Boys, the Poor Boys. And then Wishful Thinking. Then you were in a Wishful Thinking band. Yeah. And then. And next, we uh, came to LA and I took. You joined. The gospel band. Didn't I you? was with the gospel band. And what was the name? Prior to that, I was with the John York and the Innocent Bystanders. John York Folks. Uh, was the uh, bass player that replaced Chris Hillman in the Birds, and then he decided he wanted to be a guitar player. So here was a bass player going to guitar, mm -hmm. and we had the same thing with the Vince uh, Joy that uh, played lead guitar with us. So he was a bass player too of a group called Sunrays. The, the Sunrays, the sixties. And they were managed by Murray Wilson, the one of the Wilson Beach Boys. Absolutely. And this was after they were he kicked the Interesting kicked trail how that uh, how that kind of all kind of came together and, and you merging into that group and then Zola picking you out and a blues jam. Out in uh, out in the, in the afternoon, happens to walk and decides that you, and then she named you Easy Street. Isn't that right? Well, that's usually how it works with nicknames. Nicknames. Nicknames are bestowed on you. Bestowed. They are bestowed. Yeah. Nobody. Right. Nobody says, "Hey, I'm so and so." Right. Uh, somebody says you're mm -hmm. Easy, you Street, know, Easy yeah. Street Williams. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I stuck because Zola is the type of uh, player that wants to nickname everybody in the band. Yeah. Uh, Michael Monster Carter. Michael Monster uh, Carter. I like we that. have uh, Jerry, Jerry the Hat. The Hat, right. She calls him the pit bull of the group. Pit bull. Oh, Jerry Olson. But she had love for all the players. She and had Vince love Joy for was band. the uh, Silver Fox. Yeah. Vince Joy. So I became, she looked at me, she said, Eric, I've been trying to put a nickname on you, mm -hmm. and here it is, <laughs> Easy Street Williams. You <laughs> did three CDs. Three CDs they produced. Yeah, I did three CDs. And right. you, held, you held your bass down on each one of those. Zola, you know, Zola picks the people that she uh, feels can really deliver for her. Right. You know. And I don't, uh, you know, and I've always thought that about you guys, that you guys deliver. You know. We deliver what she... It's not like some bands where they think they're getting paid for every note. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, some players play like it costs some money to play. They don't want to play too many notes. They don't want to play too many notes. It costs them too much money. It costs them too much money. But anyway, uh, yeah. yeah. So the moon uh, is moving up to Sacramento, but the Greasy Boys will stay together. Now here's now here's a little something for our, uh, our fans of our show. That uh, right here, Easy Street Williams, bass player for the Zol for Zola Moon, is going to be organizing the the Greasy Boys. I want you guys to look out for these guys. These guys are going to rock it up here, right? The Greasy Boys. The greasy Boys are going to be out. Look at some of your favorite uh, places that uh, you enjoy, that uh, they, they bring you good music. Us. These guys are going to be in there. These guys watch for them. Zola Moon Story is really a story about um, the South Bay. People like Zola Moon, you know, they epitomize the, how the community is here. You know, they, they stay here, they, they produce fine music, they're loved by the community, we support them. story that now has to come to the end. But her story will continue in Sacramento. And hopefully the band will see what happens. See what happens. It's going to continue in Sacramento. Yeah. And maybe come back there. Yeah. Well, we're going to visit this again. Uh, you know, as uh, Eric finds some uh, time to come back to our show, we're going to have him back and we're going to uh, we're gonna get some updates and hear how things have been going. I guess it's a great story. We'll hear some more about us Ladies and gentlemen. Woke up this morning, looked round for my shoes. No, I must have had him the mean old walking blues. I woke up this
this morning, baby, and I, I looked around for my shoes. 